Welcome to the channel guys. Here on a Pinto and Anka, we do all the mistakes so it does not go through the channel. Today episode we look at the thing called Ray. So for that you guys, let's get to it. As you can see, I have already blocked out my personal address, so don't want anybody to turn up at my house. As you can see, it's very small. This is my hand. Okay. Not feeling the texture of this box, I can feel a line going around right here. So I'm going to carefully use my switch plate, carefully. There we go, carefully. I'll leave the back so it can open. Nice foam package, well protected. This is like live mischief. I'm recording, and what I show you on the wrapper that it is 12 volt DC to 24 volt DC, 110. AC current to 220 AC current. And now when I get inside the package, these are information that I see directly on the Kyle. The Kyle is telling me directly that it is a 220 volt. So that means it need 220 power to power this. Not 12 volt or 24 DC. Which I harder. I'm not getting none of that option. Two boxes will fill up so much wire. This box will have two breakers. One for my main. This is my main breaker. But I'm switching this to the main and that's at the sub. One of these switches is going to be solar and one is going to be the main. Main mean the direct current from outside. In this box we will have the relay. So there's going to be a lot of wire. Now guys if you're not comfortable working with live electricity do not do it get a licensed electrician here on the channel from an pin to an anchor we stand no responsibility if you get shocked
pencil as you can see why I started to go into box so it become a little bit complicated this is a diagram that I made to guide myself well as you can see there's a meter right here which I didn't get because the box that come to me is too small to only hold the two breaker alone so I have to forget about this for now just for now later on I will do all this again show you guys with this but for now I'm doing just this to show you I will also upload this diagram just as it is I won't change anything as I said I will change all of this later on and put this one in the middle but for now I'm only using these two wiring coming nicely along but but I can hear a little sound in your little critical mind going off I can already hear the critters Alexander why you only have one black wire yes I only have one black in all of this pile cuz let's explain my breaker box is a single phase 220 volts so everything inside there is coded red except the neutral which is black so everything coming here is red except for only two of these that come in directly from the solar sorry let's correct that this black and red is coming directly from the inverter the inverter is 110 so I will have to find a way to step up the completion of this wiring. Now let's go back over to the wiring. Let's get the strap out right here. So at the bottom we have inverter. Here we have the utility. Now this is live and this is energize. So again here we have inverter, utility and this is the main here we have the breaker inverter utility here we have that little box that I tell you about so if I at the moment the lights are on utility I'm gonna plug this out and trick this that the utility gone so that switch is going to switch over to the inverter. I don't want you to see the switch. Hope I can. I mean, everything is going to go dark, so you might not see. But let's try. Huh? Hope you catch that. I'll try and do it in slow motion. But that was brilliant. The light made a flick. That was good. Let's switch back to the utility. Get that? It's going to really close. So. utility let's go on inverter that's inverter that's utility that's a perfect wire see this project turned out to be really fantastic look at the clean finish it is perfect breaker box simple lift up solar utility and you could never guess what inside of this box here it is a perfect little project sweet what do you think guys now don't forget to like share and subscribe if you like this video